thanks for joining me. I have a fun video where I'm exploring some different ways that you can play around with watercolor to create some fun decorative paper. So the first step in any really wet watercolor application is to tape down the paper. I am using simple washi tape and taping it down to a sheet of plexiglass. This is my preferred way to prep my paper. The washi tape does a decent job of holding down the paper regardless of how wet I get it and it peels up really really easily which I love because then I don't have any concerns about my paper getting torn once everything has been dried and I want to take it off the board. So the first step is I really wet the paper. I get my giant brush, I load it up with water and I really get the whole surface of the paper nice and wet. And then I'm starting to go in with my pink, but my watercolors have previously been squeezed out of the tube. And for this piece, I really want some bold color. So I am popping over to my tubes and grabbing some new color so that I can really work with fresh from the tube watercolor to get the bold color that I desire. So I was going for a bright pink because I want to create either a jellyfish or a flamingo mixed media artwork out of this paper but I didn't have any more of my pink and I grabbed the closest stuff I had to it, which ended up being this really, this mauve, which is a very beautiful color. So now I'm going back and forth between the various reds that I have and this kind of purpley plum mauve color to get some sort of semblance of the color of a jellyfish or a flamingo, depending on which way this piece goes. And then I'm, desperately trying to get back that pink, thinking if I scrub through that mauve enough, I can un unearth the dried pink that's underneath there, and it's not really working. But the smaller brush is giving me some bolder sections of, of color and kind of breaking up the haphazard wash of color that I'd initially put down, which ultimately gives me the bold colors that I want for this piece. My typical go-tos are, you know, rubbing alcohol, salt, saran wrap, bubbles, but I happen to have a can of compressed air from a class that I was taking with another artist where he was blowing the ink and then transforming the blown ink into characters and images. And I've never tried this with watercolor before, and I made the rookie mistake of shaking up the can of compressed air, which then caused the air to start to get extremely cold which seemed very, very odd. Here I'm reading the directions being like, something's not quite right, but it's too late. So I've already, sh I've already shook up the can. So I'm just gonna go with it and take breaks so that as the can gets super icy cold, it doesn't <laughs> freeze my fingers. Now I really love going in with rubbing alcohol. This creates such a lovely effect, but you wanna make sure you do it with a brush that isn't one that you typically use with watercolor, or at least you make sure you keep your brushes separate. But when you put your brush in the rubbing alcohol and then splatter it or draw or paint onto the wet paint, it pushes it away where it creates a hard edge to it, which is different than dropping water onto the wet surface. So I hope you'll try these methods, test them out, let me know how they go, and tag me in your work so I can check it out.